Don't forget to subscribe and leave a comment on this video saying I subscribed. Let's get into it. Fighter jets built in the early 1990s often require upgrades to stay competitive with the latest technology and to keep pace with modern adversary aircraft. One such example is the Russian Su-30, a renowned and powerful fighter jet widely used by various countries. In 2024, the Su-30, while still highly regarded, is in need of technological advancements. Due to ongoing conflicts in Russia, the production and supply of these aircraft have been halted. As a result, India, a key player in the Su-30 program, has become increasingly prominent. India, which has been involved in the assembly of the Su-30, is now spearheading efforts to upgrade these aircraft. India's role has grown as it leads the modernization of the Su-30 fleet, incorporating the latest weapons and technologies. Many countries operating Su-30s are now interested in collaborating with India to enhance their aircraft capabilities. Malaysia, for instance, has previously expressed interest in upgrading its Su-30s with advanced avionics and technology. Similarly, Armenia's Air Force recognizes the need to improve its fighter jet's operational capabilities. Countries like Malaysia and Indonesia are keen to participate in upgrading the Su-30's missiles and avionics. Additionally, Vietnam, African nations, and South American countries are showing interest in integrating the BrahMos missile, a joint Russia-India development, into their Su-30s, further enhancing the aircraft's strength. India first ordered Su-30 MKI fighters in 1998, initially acquiring 10 aircraft before placing additional orders. The HAL has been responsible for assembling these fighters in India and has delivered 272 Su-30 MKIs to the Indian Air Force. These aircraft are expected to remain a cornerstone of India's air power for decades. Of the 272 Su-30s ordered, 222 have been assembled by HAL at its NASIC plant under a transfer of technology agreement since 2004. Additionally, 40 of these fighters are being modified to carry the air launch version of the BrahMos supersonic cruise missile. The Indian Air Force BrahMos equipped squadron, known as the Tiger Sharks, is stationed at Tanjavur Air Base in Tamil Nadu, where it serves as a crucial asset for safeguarding the Indian Peninsula and the Indian Ocean region. HAL's efforts to upgrade the IAF's Su-30 MKI fleet include improvements to avionics, new weapon systems, and enhanced electronic warfare capabilities. Armenia, in particular, is focusing on these areas for its Su-30 SM upgrades. This collaboration with India would allow Armenia to benefit from India's advancements in defense technology and HAL's expertise. India's ongoing Su-30 MKI upgrade project, valued at approximately 65,000 Indian rupees crore, involves several key enhancements. New weapons, integration of advanced air-to-air -air and air-to-ground weapons to enhance the Su-30's firepower. UTAM ASA radar, India's indigenous active electronically scanned array radar, significantly improving detection and targeting capabilities. Electronic Warfare Suites, upgraded electronic warfare systems to better counter modern air-to-air -air and surface-to-air threats. Avionics and Weapon Systems, modernized control systems and avionics for enhanced situational awareness and combat effectiveness. These upgrades are set to make the Su-30 MKI fleet more capable against contemporary threats and will serve as a model for Armenia's planned modernization efforts. By incorporating similar advancements, Armenia's Su-30 SMs could experience a substantial boost in capability, improving the operational readiness of the Armenian Air Force. This is all for now, and thank you for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. If you have any suggestion for this video, please share it on comment section.